so hey guys in in this video we will see the sql my sql how to run the sql in android phone uh, if you don't have laptop you don't worry because we can do it in android phone if you have so you can do if you don't have a laptop and you you are not at any level or you can say if you don't have such money to buy a laptop so don't worry uh, you can do sql queries in android phone using term of uh, the term of it is also like uh, os so that uh, asteroid uh, you can download it uh, through the android and you can also from google play store uh, i will also upload the video how to download term of if you have already so it's good if you don't have download it term of so don't worry i will upload the video on it so individually so let's start the video how to download the mysql if you want to query the sql so first you have to term of and then open the term of and then simply type the first we update the system so all the packages so we we easily have install the um, package maya db package that is useful to call the mysql db server and uh, mysql so start so first update the all the packages so i will type apt apt and then update and uh, type the end operator and then type apt and uh, upgrade with gap and then press enter so it's updates all the packages available in the term of that you already installed so all the installed uh, packages will be uh, updated so after that uh, i install the maya db package so i type apt install maya db i first clear the term of from then it's easily to basically to you how to write apt install and then type maya db so you will easily install the after the write the command apt install maria db you will and then press enter you will get the maria db installed and then and then i will type my sql so it access is can't connect to local service for the socket so firstly i have to Start the server. My SQL server. If I start the My SQL server, so so it will it will run after that. So firstly, I have to write My SQL D. So uh, the command My SQL D. It will start the server. After that, you can write My SQL. So it will start the you know. SQL, start the SQL, my SQL, and you will easily you can give the queries, you can fire the queries on it, and you can use many database and create tables. So I after command my SQL D and press enter, so it will start the my my DB server, and now I am going to open new session so. From right, you touch forward to right side and click on new session and then type my SQL. So you can easily open the MariaDB. So you can say, see here, it says, Welcome to the MariaDB monitor. Command and with the uh, slash V and your 
Maria DB connects on IDS three server server version ten point six point four Maria DB Maria DB server. So you can see here Maria DB is open means MySQL open in Vitama and now I can see the only data base. So I for query I will leave the query for data base is databases and don't forget to terminate the query so terminate the query with semi column and then press enter so you can see here that it's the so database and you can see your file database database information schema mysql performance schema self test so you can see easily so I use so I if I want to use my SQL database so I will query by the query use my SQL and then terminate with semicolon and then press enter so you can see here I am now in my SQL database now I want to know all the tables so that available in the mysql so i will type for tables and terminate with semicolon and then press enter so you can see here the all the table tables in mysql database column estates column 3 db event forms so many tables are available so now if i want to know the structure what the schema of user the table so i will type this type disk and then the table name user and terminate with semicolon and then enter so you can see here the table user table is described like this you can easily see here it there is host and the field for host user password select trip insert trip update trip delete trip so many columns are here means field for there you can see Login also password as power, default role, max statement time. So there are many columns. So the proof is available. You can do anything in the Android phones. If you want to coding, you don't must have to use the laptop. You should have the knowledge and you can see skills that you have. Only you do, you have to your smartphone and you can see you can see Android phone. If you have, you can do anything. There is nothing that you can't do it. Everything is possible, and impossible also says I am possible. So everything is possible. So thank you guys. I will stop the video here.